Hey, you guys, Desmond here. Lucretia. And welcome to the Unapologetically Honest Show, the show where we give our unapologetically honest opinion about our favorite shows. <laughs> it's been a minute since I did the full one. Today, we are here to talk about RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars All-Winners Season, which is Season 7, Episode 2, The Snatch Game. But before we get into it, I have to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. We are growing, and I really appreciate everybody who is taking the time out to subscribe to our little channel. We really appreciate it. We're trying to grow something special here in our own little corner of the internet. So if you would love to join us, <laughs> hit that subscription button, all right? So, Lucretia, Snatch Game, what did you think of the episode altogether? Oh, this was a great episode. Great episode. Oh my god. This is this this is gonna be like the season to beat. Baby. But this is what I expect when you give us all winners. Yes. This is what I expect when I see all winners, this is what I want. Mm-hmm. This is what I need. And since ain't nobody going home, I feel like they're really, you know, showing. Now I feel like once we get like halfway through, we'll probably see some of them get kind of complacent. You know, get kind of still. But right oh, now, it's like early. They're still trying to show what they can do. So yes. speaking of showing what they can do, let's show the world what they can do. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. I forgot to move this over. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> We're going to leave this in too. Bam. All right. So we start off the next episode with Shea Kool-Aid and the rest of the queens entering the workroom. They're, uh-huh. down, they're discussing, but you notice Trinity is missing. I think this is funny. So they're sitting there, they're congratulating Monet and Shay on winning the week and Shay for winning the lip sync. Uh-huh. And then here comes Trinity. Uh-huh. I love how they get their own special interest <laughs> with the plunger too. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so she sits down, she does her little bit from that movie i can't remember the name of it right now i fought them i fought them demons for years in hollywood but anyway um and shay basically said the reason why she blocked her is she feel like out of everybody she can recover from a block uh-huh. and i'm like and eh, just say you see her as a threat <laughs> but, yeah. hey, but hey we're trying to keep it cute we're trying to keep it cute right and then Trinity's like, well, I'll accept it. And I think it was Raj that says, you have no choice to accept it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless if you accept it or not, honey, you're not going to get a legendary legend star next week. Well, this week. So, so we didn't talk about this in the last episode, but they upped the cash prize to $200,000. Um, I feel like it should be two fifty. dollars yeah. Or maybe even 500. Mm. This is all winners. And now that the regular season gets 150, mm-hmm. I'm, I know they made that decision after, you know, they shot all this, but hopefully in the finale, we'll hear some weird voice clip that is actually, you know, 250 instead of the 200. Right. So I would like for them to get more coins. They are winners, by the way. And they will be announced queen of all queens. Mm-hmm. So it's the next day, and they're showing off their legendary legend stars. Mm-hmm. She this, said, my, my eyes are up here. <laughs> my eyes are up here. <laughs> I love that. So they're just sitting here discussing, you know, how they're going to play the game from here out. And it's just like, it makes sense. Like, if you got a star, I'm blocking mm-hmm. you so I can slow you down. Right. Regardless, you know, they don't tell them what the challenge is for the following week, which, you know, that was the rumor that they knew. But I would still block whoever got a star. So, like, Monet or Shay would have got blocked. Honestly, they're scared of Monet. Did you catch that? And I think that's why the person who won didn't pick Monet. I would have. Baby, Mm. I'm a petty bitch, too. You want to (laughs) be... We could be petty, honey. I remember you were going to pick Manila, too. They even showed it in Untucked. Um, yeah. Baby, I'm petty, too. Let's go. <laughs> I'm glad they don't pick lipsticks, because if they did, honey... My mm. <laughs> All right. So, you know, they're talking. They're moving onwards. And this is the moment where 
we realize Jinx is scared of Monet. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, and I'm gonna come for you if you do it. I'm gonna mm. come. For you. Don't be scared. Don't be trying to scare these girls. <laughs> but RuPaul enters the room and announces that this week's maxi challenge, because there's no mini challenge, is the snatch game. But not they not only have to prepare one celebrity impersonation, they have to prepare two. I'm like, oh, so they want you to be a Bob the Drag Queen or Nina West, you know, people who've done two mm-hmm. at one time. Okay, all right. I am intrigued. <laughs> I am. Wow. <sighs> so here we go. Let's get into it. All stars, all winners. Snatch game. <laughs> so here's RuPaul. RuPaul. And the first cast of the Snatch Game. We'll get mm-hmm. to that Here's Ross and Michelle looking lovely. Now let's get into it, honey. Mike Tyson <laughs> was freaking hilarious. Hilarious. The voice, <laughs> the drawing on Monet's face. Wait, what is that? I know that's supposed to be the tattoo he has on the side yeah, of his face. But... He just tells you just scribbled, and that's the part that I love. She just was like, there's a little this over here. Let me go over here real quick. The <laughs> lip, everything was right with this. It was all so good. I really enjoyed her Mike Tyson. She did a great job with this character. Yes. Up next is Raja as Madam. Uh huh. Slayed. Yes. I was worried about Raja with Snatch Game because she did a decent job with Tyra Banks in her season. But uh-huh. I'm like, we got some heavy hitters. How is Raja going to do? Baby, she slayed. Well, she this, said, oh, I could do more than smile. This was hilarious. <laughs> and then, like, when she erased the hands, you could see the sticks. I'm like, she's a puppet. And then she acted like a puppet because it wasn't like this. It was literally like, <laughs> I loved it. Like it was so good. The Summer Diamonds line, you know, we've heard it so many times, but it was still funny. Like it's just, it was so good. And she acted like a puppet. Like everything she said sounded like what a puppet would say if you see a puppet on a show. Mm-hmm. Like it was so good. So good. Up next is the Vivian as Joanna Lumley. Lumley. Now, I don't know who this woman is, but I felt like I did. (laughs) I felt like I knew who this woman was. And I love the bit where she kept saying, I'm wearing Chanel. I'm like, come on, get get that money. Yes, let me get some money. Or some fruit, something. Yes. I need something. Yes, I I thought she did a decent job. Honestly, with both of her characters, I really was expecting more because of how iconic her Donald Trump was. Right. But like she still did good with both of them. So I'm not saying that. I just, I just expected more. Right. I expected more. Up next is Trinity as She Devil by Night. Or Lucy, whatever you want to call her. Um, this performance, it was okay for me. She kind of played them both the same. Yeah. Yeah, but with this one, there was a few jokes that, you know, made me laugh. But overall, I felt like she just did a good job. Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, it really works when you do these characters that we really don't know. So you can make them whatever you want them to be. Right. So I, 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 I liked it. I liked it. Up next is Jean Monsoon as Natasha Leone. She, uh, she nailed it from the voice to bringing up the movie that her and Rue did. I didn't know the cheerleader was a lesbian or whatever. I was like, the, the cigarette bit. I, yes. I really enjoyed this. And, you know, I love me some Natasha from Orange is the New Black. You know, I never finished that show. Yeah. I never finished. You didn't finish a lot of shows. I I think I'm going to go back and finish it one day. Are you going to finish your other show? What other show? A game. (sighs) Of Thrones. 
I'm gonna finish it. I'm still hurt. I, it's been years since I've watched. I'm still hurt. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, she did a good job. She had the voice down. That was the part that really got me. I'm like, you know, Natasha has a very particular tone and scratchiness to her voice, and she uh-huh. nailed that. And I'm like, work. Up next is Evie Ali as Rico Nasty. I didn't. I like don't that. know who that is. I've heard of Rico Nasty, but I don't know any of their music. The only Rico, na- never mind. <laughs> you you can tell me later because I feel I I, I like <laughs> I know which type of road that's gonna go. But anyway. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Yeah, mind. Um, I didn't like this betrayal at all. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh Lord, we have another Whoopi Goldberg situation on our hands. But it wasn't that bad. It was It was better than the Whoopi Goldberg. Yes, it was. It was better than the Whoopi Goldberg. So I got to give her props for that. Up next is Shea Kule as Elsa Majimbo. Now, I don't follow her, but she has popped up on my FYP several times. Not on mine. She popped up on mine. And she, in my opinion, she nailed it. Like, this was a really good impersonation of Elsa. Really good. Really good. What did you think of Shay's performance? Well, I don't know what the person normally acts like, but I did chuckle a little bit. Dang, dang I tried to hide it. <laughs> it's nine o'clock, y'all. <laughs> and I still got more stuff to do before I go to bed. Up next is <laughs> Jada Essence Hall as Prince. She was not nailing the Prince at all. But baby, I still was like whistle tone laughing, especially when she did the little lip thing. I was like, what is what is this? And then the little I'm like, stop. Lord. I was like, are you supposed to be Prince or Little Richard? He's really giving more Little Richard right now. But yes, like I agree with Michelle. It was a terrible Prince impersonation, but you made it funny it was so stupid and uh, you couldn't help but laugh yes it was just yes so good job miss jada yes so now it's time to go to the second round of snatch game and uh first we have the vivian as Catherine tate now i feel like she did better with this character Uh i chuckled a little bit more i'm glad they added the subtitles when they did because i was like what is she saying (laughs) <laughs> very British it got very British real quick I was like what what happened right but yeah overall good job what did you think of her Catherine Tate it was okay I, I don't know who this person is <laughs> I didn't know neither one of Vivian's characters but I feel like she did a good job up next is Evie Ali Boogie Man I love the font. This was too funny to me. The 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 nose ring is like part of what did it for me. Yes. And I was the like, nose? why do I oddly like this? Like, this is weird. I, why? Why am I oddly attracted to this? Beat? That part. I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay. I was like, when did Evie oddly get fine? That part. <laughs> because I remember season 11 I'm like oh she's cute but I, I didn't remember this and I went I recently uh, recorded the lip syncs for season 11 and I'm like yeah like she she looks decent there but something to hear I don't know what it was she, there's more poise more confidence more like I know I got this and I think she's just here to have fun yes and you could tell like I thought this was way better this redeemed the Rico Nasty. It redeemed the uh, Whoopi Goldberg. This was a decent job. And I have to give Evie her props. But it's also another thing we don't know, the boogeyman. So, like, you can make the boogeyman any Exactly. Oh. But she did a, the boogeyman way better than Chuck did freaking the devil. Yeah. It's just good job, Evie. Good job. <laughs> I love how she intro this. I, I, I will say that. 
as Leslie Jordan. Hold on. Here's the boogeyman helping her up. And there she is. <laughs> uh, uh, see, now what would have really made it had at some point she did the, the whole little TikTok line. So what y'all doing? Screwing. <laughs> I was waiting Who said for she it. Did it. Who said she didn't? They maybe cut it out. Because she mentioned that, uh, I saw on Twitter that she mentioned that uh, she referenced the burn book while she was doing the devil character. Uh -huh. and she like they probably cut it for copyright issues. But yeah, so yeah, I thought Trinity did an amazing job as Leslie Jordan. Amazing. I was hooping and hollering. Did a great job. What did you think of her, Leslie? It was good. Stop yawning, because every time you yawn, I yawn. I'm sorry. You can't see me, but I can see you. And it's just <laughs> like, I never yawn on here. Like, I always fight it. But tonight, I don't know what it is. Ooh-wee. I have more reason to be tired than you do. <laughs> yeah, you actually worked. But I've been doing a lot of cleaning today. But anyway, up next is Jane thing I need to do. as the Lady Chablis. Now, I didn't know this character, and I didn't really enjoy this character. I'm going to be real. Well, they didn't show her very much, so I'm pretty sure they didn't enjoy her either. Yeah, I, I've noticed that with her and somebody else, but I think they did it for another reason for the other person we're going to talk about. But yeah, we barely saw it. I didn't laugh at anything. She looks nice, and apparently she looks just like the lady, so kudos. Okay. Up next is Shea kool as Miss J. Alexander. Uh, she had moments. She had some moments. Yeah, just a few moments. But overall, it was just an okay job. Uh-huh. Just an okay job. Up next is Raja as Deanna Verland. Uh-huh, with her two scenes. Amazing. Yes. She did such a good job. That makeup job, though. For real, like, you can't even tell that's Raja. Right. Like, it's just, I thought she did an amazing. Now, she got a little bit more screen time than the other two we're going to talk about, but I do agree we could have got more for her. But she did amazing with both of hers. Mm -hmm. Like, she really surprised me here. She really did. Up next is Monet Exchange as Martin Lawrence. But as um, Martin Lawrence's character... Should I die? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How you doing? That's my man. How you doing, RuPaul? How you doing, RuPaul? I lived for this. I thought it was so good. And this is another one we didn't get to see much of. And I think mm. it's because they didn't want to give Monet the win. So, uh, because everything she was doing was hilarious. Yes. So I'm like, yeah, they're not showing us more Monet because she probably would have made her look like she won and they didn't give her the win for this episode right i was baby when she clapped after julie sang the first time she was like that was all good that was all good, that was so good. anyhow <laughs> uh, I, I really enjoyed it because when she said in the workroom she was doing martin lawrence i'm like okay that could be funny but then when mm. i hear i'm like oh my gosh she's doing shenanigans Shanae -day. That was the only thing she was really missing. She wasn't very nasal on yeah, the whole time. Because Shaday Day talks through her nose like she has a cold all the time. But yes, I thought Monet did a great job at Shaday Day. And then the Snatch Game of all snatch games. Yes, the, the lesson, the queen, the queen the deserved that one. They, she, she, oh my God. The best snatch game I have ever seen in all the franchise. I'm sorry, Vivian, you did hold that title with Donald Trump. You did. But mm -hmm. baby, we're gonna push it down just one because this Judy <laughs> Garland was amazing. It was. The references when she yes. made the call back to Dave from season, season five, five. Yes. that's what made me do that whistle laugh. <laughs> I was like, like I could, I could not, nothing more could come out at that point. Like it was just 
just thinking about it now. It just... I was like, dang, how did you remember that? But did that you go I... back and watch your season real quick? Oh, trust me, I would never forget that. Like, if I were to do a makeover, I would always remember my makeover, especially with a story like, I think I killed Julie Garland. What? I, I forgot how he thought he I forgot how he thought he said he killed her, but baby, it, she was like, no, it's not your fault, baby. It was so good. It was, and then the songs when she sang, don't be jealous of my boogie and the mic, when she kept pulling up the rope, I mean, the string to the mic, I'm like, because if you go back and watch some of her performances, you, you see her going, you see her really, because she finna move. So she's trying to get, come on. Come on much play on that mic. I'm, I'm finna go, so I'm gonna need all this uh, cable to come with me, okay? Yep. It was so good, and I love at the end when she sang the Drag Race theme song, but she sang the old one. Uh huh. He's like, they changed it to Drag Queen. It was so good. It was <laughs> so good. Ladies Neither and gentlemen, can. and those in between, this is how you do a snatch game, okay? Right. This, baby. Master class. Right there. Right, this is how you do a snatch game. Season 14. You better be lucky this was so good because this just made up for how bad y'all's was. Oh, okay, oh my God. That's, that probably, was why, that's probably why RuPaul said we're doing two snatches because we got to make up for how bad this snatch game was for season 14. <laughs> it was terrible. Y'all lip sick. <laughs> I just, I mean, we must bow. We must bow. Yes. Yes. All hail Judy. All hail Judy and Jinx. Here's our weekly photo of Evie out of drag. <laughs> and then we're bringing it to the main stage. What did you think of this look from RuPaul? RuPaul. RuPaul. I liked it from the waist up. I love this. And, you know, they never showed a dress from the back, so I had to take a screenshot. But I actually love this. The only thing is, the six head is back. Pull it down. (laughs) Pull it. But I love this wig, though. Oh, I love the wig. The wig was just, oh, I'm so in love with this wig. I'm in love with this. This is, like, RuPaul, to me, has been killing it the past two weeks with these looks. Like, pull it down. I love that fabric, though. Ooh, that yeah. fabric is, like, bomb. Yes, 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 yes. But we have Michelle Visage. We have Ross Matthews this week. And yeah. Daphne Guinness. Now, when she first popped up, I'm like, girl, why is she here? She don't know nothing about no drag race. But, baby, she was a great guest judge. And when yes. you go back and watch The Untucked, like, she was great in there, too. So I'm really enjoying the fact that they're getting – celebrities who are fans of the show mm. who know i don't know her. who she is <laughs> oh i don't know her at all <laughs> but like apparently she's worked with a lot of the queens around the world too so it's like i appreciate them getting people who actually know these queens who love drag race mm-hmm. especially when we're doing all winners now i get it when we're doing regular seasons people got to promote their shit okay come on drag race Mm-hmm. But when we get all stars and all winners, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need a people who know and love the show. <laughs> That's what I need. Okay. So I, 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 I. <laughs> so the category is pleather principle. It's the pleather principle. And I, before we get into I it, when I heard pleather principle. The first thing that popped in my head was Holly Berry's Catwoman's look. Mm. And Shay did a variation of that. So I didn't win it. I didn't go get a screenshot of Holly Berry in her suit. But I would have done, it would have been like a mix of Jada's and Shay's. Uh huh. Giving you Catwoman, Holly Berry. It would have been everything. Uh, do you mm. have anything that you would have done for Play the Principal? Hmm. Maybe like a dominatrix version of Aaliyah's character from um, the vampire movie. The pleasant principle, honey. All right, I feel you. 
let's get into these. The first is Monet Exchange. I love this. This was awesome. That's not pleather. Well, it kind of is. Yeah, from the waist down it is. So I'm going to give her a pass. Majority <laughs> of it is pleather. So I will give her a pass. I yes. love the wig. I love this dress. I love that simple necklace that she's wearing. Mm -hmm. it, it all works for me. It all works. Because there's just so much going on with that leather bustier. But I, I, <laughs> two, four, six. I love the eight pack with the 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 pectoral breast. Yes. Like, Strict like with I, beauty, and I love that. Love yes. That. Love that. Up next is Evie Oddly. I thought this was adorable. I thought this was really cute. I wish it was a heel. And not a platform. But I do like that. that, that so I'll, I'll excuse it. But yeah, this is really cute. This is a soft too. You know, it could be mm -hmm. better. But like, right. I, I like the creativity with the blow up wig. And I love the Natoga run that she did at the end. For those who know, no. She did it at the end. She was like, woo. woo. I was like, yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Uh-oh, it don't want me to pull up the next one. That's okay. I got y'all. Hold on. Let's see. So Evie is right here. Up next. We're going to close it. There it is. Raja. Amazing. <laughs> I like the shoes. Oh, I love the shoes. This head to toe. Again, Raja, get off my throat. <laughs> you and Shay are going to kill me this season. You and Shay are going to kill me this season. Get off my throat. Get off of it. But That's yeah. it now. But I love this. This was good. What did you think of Raja's look? I didn't understand it. I'm going to be honest. When she was explaining it, I'm like, I don't get that. But I still like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> up next is Trinity the Tuck. I didn't particularly care for this. That does not look leather that looks more plastic i think it is pleather but i think it's just a color option and like i get it you want to be different i wish right. the ponytail was a little bit longer yeah I, I don't really like the puffer jacket moment she said that she was making from a, you know she wanted to resemble a puffer jacket mm -hmm. i don't really care for that i do love the, the shoes yes the shoes are cute you see where it reaches Yes, I see where it reaches. Where does it reach? The thigh. Oh, yes, it do. Uh, but yes. Um, I'm going to give this a soft toot because I do like it. But I feel like it could have been more elevated. I could have. Up next is the Vivian. And you're correct, Stephanie. I love this show. <laughs> oh, I love this outfit. Vivian came to slay. This was amazing. What did you think of Vivian's look? I liked it. Yes. Yes. Real good. Real good. Up next is Jinx Monsoon. Um, I like where she was going with this. Uh-huh. I do. Yeah. I wish it was different colors, though. Yeah. Kind of with Trinity, you could tell it's pleather, but the color just makes it look like, I don't know. Plastic. Yeah. But, you know, I, I got that she was the house mother at the brothel. Right. We understood that. I still give it a two. I just wish it was different colors. Right. And baby, can we draw just a little bit more of a lip? Especially an upper one. Just up a little bit more. Just the tattest bit. Probably to where my, you see how my lips is? Uh, Jinx, I know you're watching. Love you, sis. About <laughs> right here is a good spot, okay? <laughs> just a little yeah. bit more upper lip. Other than that, good job. Good job. Up next is Jada Essence Hall. It was hard to get screenshots of her full body because she wouldn't stop moving. <laughs> I'm like, be still. I'm trying to get a screenshot of the full thing. So this is the best I can do. But I love it. I love that wig. Maybe the matrix of it all. 
Yes. Six of it all. Great job. Up next is Shake Kool Aid. Yes. I like, I like this. Uh huh. But the same critique I have for the other ones, I wish it was a different color. Instead of pink, that doesn't look pink on camera, it looks white. Yeah, and it's just it's just because of the lights, because I've seen the picture she posted. Was it on Twitter or Instagram? One of the two. She posted a picture of this look. And I'm like, okay, I, I see what you were doing. And yeah, the color don't, the lights are really uh, draining and flushing this look out. So yes. overall, I'm still going to give it a tip. I just wish it was a different color that looked better on TV. So out of our top eight, who Excuse me. is your favorite look? Jada and Monet. I would have to give it to the Vivian. I'm torn between Vivian and Monet. I'm going to give it to Viv. And who are you going to give it to between Jada and Monet? Because you know you can't have two. Monet. Monet. So give it up to Monet and the Vivian for the top looks of the week. This is what I mean. I took a yes. of <laughs> them coming back to the main stage. Pretty much everybody but Raja and Evie and um, Trinity went back. Well, the Vivian the didn't. Oh, Vivian didn't either. But we got Shanae down here. We got uh -huh. Juke Charlotte just with a different wig. Prince is back and Miss J. I feel like we're going to get some really funny looks coming back because you don't know if you're going to lip sync or not. Right. You see Raja changed shoes because, you know, she should have been lip syncing, but we're going to get to that here in a second. <laughs> our top two is Jinxie and Trinity the Tuck. Do you agree with these top two? Uh, not with Trinity. I don't. I, I don't think she should have been there. Honestly, I feel like it should have went to Raja. I feel like Raja did an amazing job with both performances mm -hmm. and deserved a top two placement. Um, possibly Monet. Possibly Monet. But like I said, they either cut the Shanae short because she did bad or she did great. I think she possibly did great. And I think that's what right. But we will never know. So nope. based off of what we were shown, I would have put Raja in this spot instead of Trinity. But hey, that's what we get. And they are lip syncing to Rumor Has It by Adele, our first Adele first song. Adele. Our first Adele song. What did you think of this lip sync? I love this song. I, I think I love the song, yeah. <laughs> it could have been a better lip sync, honestly. It could have. Like, I like where Trinity was trying to go with it, but it was just He like, was trying to be funny, but I'm like, girl, you're sexy. Just work the sexy and, and let me, Jinx have the funny. Yeah, and part of me feels like they were expecting Vivian to be in the top two, because why else would they pick the Adele song for this week? Right. She didn't shine the way they expected. Right. But yeah, overall, this was a, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're coming to the end of these lip, uh, screenshots because I didn't take very many. <laughs> you see, I got a screenshot of Evie. Uh. There we are. And the winner of the lip sync is Jinx Monsoon. Do you agree? Yeah, over I Trinity. Do, I do agree with Jinx winning this lip sync. Um, Trinity was trying to go for funny, but it just wasn't nailing. No. It wasn't nailing. So Trinity is safe from being blocked, but she did not receive a legendary legend star like her sister Jinx did. Yeah. So Trinity's in the back. Here's everybody up here. Now, Jinx has to choose who she will block this week. Mm -hmm. So she's walking up and down, playing around with the girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this part. Girl, they said, can mm -hmm. I help you? <laughs> that, tickled me. that tickled me so like much. I told you, these are going to be like my favorite parts each week. <laughs> can I help you with something? I'm like, <laughs> yes, Lone, I love. But she ultimately decides to block Shay Kool-Aid. 
Which I knew she was going to do. Yeah, like, it was either going to be Shay or Monet. I think I would have done Monet, me personally. Mm-hmm. Not knowing that next week is the ball, so she actually did a good job blocking her because we know she's going to slay a ball. Right. So, but not knowing next week is a ball, I think I would have done Monet. Just because she told me that she's petty. Baby, I'm petty too. <laughs> petty babies, okay? Let's be petty babies. But anyway, she chose Shay. <laughs> and Trinity was so happy. You know Trinity was going to block Shay. You knew she mm-hmm. So she was like, yeah! So I'm like, that tickled me to my core. Um, but we move on. She's like, I didn't even prepare anything. I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I loved it, the faces. <laughs> but yeah, like I was mentioning, that's it for this week. And next week, we're going to be having a ball. The fortune. Little. The fortune ball, honey. Oh. So I'm super excited about the fortune ball. I wonder what the categories are going to be for fortune. I wonder, I imagine probably something to do with money, you know, rich bitch, couture, you know, something the like that. The rich bitch. And, and, <laughs> and obviously they're going to have to make one of the looks there because, you know, you saw that in the little tidbit. So mm-hmm. I'm excited to see, you know, how that's going to work. I'm sorry, I'm adjusting my seat. I don't know why. I never realized this can move back until I grab the handle. And I'm like, oh, I can go back. Anyway. You can go back. You can go up and down. Yeah, I know I can go up and down. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. I can't stand you. So, Lucretia. <laughs> Yes. Where can they find you on the social media websites? You can find me at Krisha McGill, that's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L on all social media. And you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, be great. Bye, y'all. Bye.